Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today I would like to look at a passage of scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, reading from verse 7 through verse 10. And 2 Corinthians chapter 11, reading from verse 23 to verse 27. So 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 through 10. He says, but I must not be too proud of the wonderful things that were shown to me. So a painful problem was given to me. An angel from Satan sent to make me suffer so that I would not think that I am better than anyone else. I begged the Lord three times to take this problem away from me. But the Lord said, my great grace is sufficient for your need. Only when you are weak can everything be done completely by my power. So I would gladly boast about my weaknesses. Then Christ's power can stay in me. Yes, I am glad to have weaknesses if they are for Christ. I am glad to be insulted and have hard times. I am glad when I am persecuted and have problems because it is when I am weak that I am really strong. So here Paul the Apostle was saying he had a thorn in his flesh. And for this painful experience, he gives the reason why. Earlier in chapter 12, we will see that Paul said he was caught up into the third heaven. And he was given revelation, revelation that he cannot even speak about. So from this experience, God didn't want him to be proud. And he said he didn't want to boast about it either. So God allowed this thorn in his flesh. He said it was a messenger from Satan. So God did not want Paul to exalt himself to the abundance of the revelation that was given to him. So God permitted it to happen. The thorn in the flesh would keep him humble. The thorn in the flesh would keep him praying. Why? Because he was still liable to sin. He himself said, when I want to do good, evil presents itself. So God wanted to safeguard his heart from the seed of pride. So Paul had to live in his ministry with this painful experience. Many times we ourselves have trials. They may be different from that of Paul's, but we, it should produce the same kind of fruit. The apostle describes the thorn in his flesh as a messenger of Satan that buffet him. This could be a plan or an effort of Satan to hinder him, to block him, to stop him. In so doing, he would be hindering the work of God. But the Bible tells us, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So, if we have to do or when we do, our service can only be successful for Christ when in ourselves, we the weak servant of God depend on him. The weaker the servant, the more power from Christ that accomplishes his service or one's preaching. Paul tells us three times he passionately 
pleaded with the Lord that the thorn in his flesh might depart from him. God answered this prayer, but not in the way that he had hoped. God told him, I will not take away the thorn, but I will do something greater. I will give you the grace to bear it. So God assured Paul, his servant, that the angel, this angel, this messenger from Satan, that God is saying to him, I know what's happening. I want you to learn to depend on me wholly, fully, completely. So Paul was now saying, I have learned to give God glory in all of my infirmities. When we look at what he says was happening to him, we can see some of those things in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 27. He says, I can really tell of what I have seen in heaven. And it would be the truth. I would not even be boasting. But I did not want to do that. He says, Our dear people serving Christ more than I am serving him. I am crazy to talk like this. I have worked much harder than they have worked. I have been in prison more often. I have been hurt more in beatings. I have been near death many times. Five times the Jews have given me their punishment of 39 lashes with a whip. Three different times I was beaten with rods. One time I was almost killed with rocks. Three times I was in ships that were wrecked. And one of those times I spent the night and the next day in the sea. In my constant traveling, I have been in danger from rivers, from thieves, from my own people, and from people who are not Jews. He says, I have been in danger in the cities, in places where no one lives, and on the sea. I have been in danger from people who pretend tended to be believers but are not. I have done hard and tiring work and many times I did not sleep. I have been hungry and thirsty. Many times I have been without food. I have been cold and without clothes. So here Paul was saying, Listen, a lot has happened to me, much more than anyone else. So if I say what is going on with me, it is not really empty boast. So he talked about in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, as we can see, five phases of the tones or the things that were happening in his flesh. One, he talked about infirmities that he had to suffer and this is the weakness of the human ability he said i was helpless this infirmity could be moral it could be mental it could be a spiritual weakness or even a flaw the second thing he said i had to put up with reproaches this shows that the infirmities had to do with his trials and his troubles his sufferings and the body says it might have been the, the bible said it might have been sufferings of his body and his soul he says i lack necessities so all this thing was going on yet he still had the power to do his apostolic signs and miracles and wonderful mighty deeds for God while he was going through 
all these things. Number four, he said, I was going through persecution. He says, I was going to distress. So all these things were coming upon him, which I believe constituted the thorn in his flesh. When he goes out to preach, the messenger or the angel of Satan would cause a number of things to be happening in his life. Remember, he could pray. He had special power to heal diseases, even up until his last days that he lived. Paul says when he get an attack by the angel, the messenger of Satan, what I would do instead is to give God glory, to glory in whatever was taking place in my life. Because I look for the grace. This is what God has promised me. So he didn't focus on his situation. But glory in the God who would supply him the strength that he need to keep on going. He says, and when I do, I receive it. And I am stronger in the power of God. What he is saying, I'm going to boast in all these things. Lest they think my boasting of the revelations of what God has shown me, I will boast in my infirmities. I will boast in reproach. I will boast in necessities. I will boast in persecutions. I will boast in distress. He says, and when I do, the power of God rests upon me like a tabernacle. It gives me covering, affording me to continue to preach the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today we might suffer many things, but let us take an example from the Apostle Paul that is grace, God's grace, when we are going through is sufficient for us. Let us rely not on our own strength, but upon the grace of God. God bless you. Thank you again for watching.